Good morning, Cougar fans. I'm Lucas Power, and this is Coach Burks, and you're watching Cougar coverage on the Atlanta Central Sports Network. So we've got a couple of special guests this week, but we'll get into that later. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had a couple uh, conflicts happen. We It's Thursday. We're yeah. finally getting it done. Yeah, it's a little late in the week, but uh, we still want to update you on what's going on. So. Yep. So let's ho let's hop right into high school cross country. Yeah, high school cross country. Um, you know, we've been covering them all year, um, the co-op with Delavid. Uh, unfortunately, the girls had kind of a tough ending this past this past weekend in sectionals at Elmwood. Um, still a very good show. Yeah, they had a great season. Yeah, great season, great showing. Um, they finished in seventh place, just barely missing out on a on a trip to state. Um, they do have a lot of young runners on that team, so they'll be back. But I know they were disappointed. Um, hopefully, that'll just push them to work harder. The boys, um, you know, they they advanced. We got a sixth place sixth place finish at sectional, so they're headed to state this weekend. Um, so we'll talk to a couple of those guys here in a little bit. Um, you know, a, a great job by them. So yeah, and they get their season continues. So yeah, we'll one talk more about weekend. Them one more weekend. Let's just see, let's see what they can do in the state big meet. Yep. So and then also wrapping up with high school volleyball. High school volleyball. So uh, last week, you know, we we previewed that they were going to have a match with Decatur St. Teresa in regionals. Um, they actually won by forfeit in that one. Kind of a unique situation. Um, they then went on to come back and beat Greenview in the semifinals and faced Hardham in the championship. Um, Hardham actually won a sectional last night, so they're still moving on. Uh, tough night for our girls, but an, another great season, great career for a lot of those seniors. Um, next week, hopefully, we can update you on some of the all-conference um, teams that those girls made. Uh, but, you know, good year, fun week. Obviously disappointing to end any season, but still getting to the regional championships. The yeah, goal. they still got there. They got yeah. to, and sure, it was a great experience to play with a plaque on the on the table. Exactly, so. and uh, you know, yeah. I hope every team that we have coming up gets the same experience, especially us this, this winter. Um, yeah, and Hartsburg has a really good yeah. team. So yeah, no, no shame in losing to a team that's headed to super sectionals. Yeah, so moving out of there, uh, we got basketball coming up for high yeah. school boys and high school high school girls. girls. They were in the gym. They've been in the gym the last couple of days practicing. We'll start next Monday, week. Yep. Um, pictures took pictures yesterday so everybody got to wear their jerseys for the first time and figure all that out so it's exciting times um the gym's gonna be crazy busy and it should be fun so we'll make sure we touch base on that you know next week and beyond but it's gonna be a fun winter in the gym yeah so sorry about basketball our middle school basketball is going to boys yeah. and girls middle school boys and girls um middle school girls are kind of nearing the end middle school boys are just getting going um the girls had a game last night in athens uh, tonight they're at riverton and then next week they'll kind of wrap up the regular season. Uh, middle school boys got their season started on Monday with uh, seventh and eighth grade both winning, Carol, beating Carroll Catholic. A big win for the seventh grade, uh, eighth grade comeback win. So that's a great start to the season there. Um, tonight, which is Thursday, they are uh, four o'clock against WLB. Tomorrow night, four o'clock against Chester East. Um, they got a shot to win it, so they can win the, yeah. the tournament to begin the year. Yeah, and just keep playing hard at the beginning, and then for the girls, just keep playing hard at the end and just try to exactly. battle every game and just have fun. Yep, uh, for sure. Especially yeah. the middle school level, just get better and get get just ready for the next improve, step. Improve, enjoy it, have a blast with your friends, and see what happens. So normally I'd be saying this is it, but let's move in on and bring in our special guest. Yeah. All right, so our two special guests, we've got senior Zach Golden and sophomore Riley Dom, and they had a, a great season, and it's not over yet. So it's moving on into state. So I'll start with Zach. Uh, what are your expect or what were your expectations at the beginning of the year? We we kind of knew it was going to be different, new team, new location, new exercises, different schedules. So it was just a lot of we had to learn and get along with a whole new group of people, and in the end it all worked out. How would you say that process was that adapting to the new environment, new people, and just wing it? <laughs> we just showed up to practice. Uh, they had some unique stretches that took a little getting used to, but and do you like that? Uh, it's much more focused. Like we've had good teams in the past, but like this school, this is what they do. Like they, yeah, it's good. Very it's good. Uh, Riley. So you know, kind of going along with that. You know, how how are your feelings about the co-op? How do you think it's gone for you? Well, I personally think it's going amazing because we made plenty of new friends, made it to state, made mm -hmm. it to sectionals for the first time. So didn't yeah. really expect to do that. Yeah, it's awesome. 
Yeah, so w- when you found out you were going, what was that feeling like? It, it, there was a lot of work in the season, and especially beating Florida like we did. That was a huge upset. The um, There was a list on Instagram of the teams expected to make it, and by us moving up into sixth place, it messed that entire list up. <laughs> That's awesome. That's sweet. Um, so you guys have already ran Detweiler before, right? You ran there this year, so you're headed back there. Um, but what are you most looking forward to th- this weekend, just the whole experience? Yes, I'm just looking forward to have a good race. I didn't race too good last time we ran there, but I'm hoping to do better this time. So. Okay. Um, and Zach, kind of follow along. It's your, your final race either way, so what are you looking forward to just going out there one more time? Uh, just do as best as I can. Yeah. Last race ever. Just going to leave it all out there. Perfect. And that's what you got to do. Yeah, well, I, I can promise you tomorrow we're going to you know celebrate you and have some fun here. Um, then you're going to get the same. Hey, congratulations for making yeah, it. Yeah, starting Thank off. You. and you. It's going to be fun. We follow along. We've been following along all year, and best of luck to you guys. Thank yeah, you. and like I told you guys, I was talking to you guys the other day, you know, it was like – it's like you guys were just battling with the girls all year, and then you guys came out of nowhere and took it. So good job, and continue yeah. on and have a great race. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Best of luck. Right. I think that's it, Coach. Yep, that's all we got. Uh, thank you guys for joining me today, or me and, so, me and Coach Burks. And make sure to look out in future weeks for more Cougar coverage right here on the Atlanta Central Sports Network.